<laughs> 42 parts. A is at a particular instant instance, uh, a one kilogram particles position. So the mass of this thing is one kilogram. Is that a position R? R is a vector. So we're going to write this as 2.0 in the I hat. Minus 4.0 in the J hat. Plus 6.0 in the K hat. Uh, and that's my R. And that is given in meters. It's velocity. So they give us a velocity vector for this particle it is V equals negative 1.0 I hat plus 4.0 J hat plus 1.0 K hat. And the units they tell us on that is meters per second. And there's a force on it. And that force F, they give us a vector for this, is equal to 10.0 I hat plus 15.0 J hat. And that is given in Newtons. And part A wants to know what is the angular momentum of the particle about the origin? So we need to find the angular momentum. How do we find the angular momentum of this? Well, angular momentum. L, angular momentum. Go ahead. R cross P. Do I know what R is? Yeah, I know what R is. Do I know what P is? P is mass times velocity. So can I get what P is? Yeah, I just need to multiply by the mass. This problem is particularly nice. Why is this problem particularly nice? The mass is 1. So the equations mathematically are essentially the same. They're not the same because you multiply by kilogram, so then the units of the momentum are kilogram meters per second. Okay? But mathematically, it's just like you're multiplying by the V. So we need to do R cross P. So L is going to be this 2.0 in the I hat minus 4.0 in the J hat plus 6.0 in the K hat. And we're going to cross that into the momentum, which is the same equation as the velocity. And why is it the same equation? Because the mass is 1. What if the mass were 2? Multiply, Multiply the velocity by 2, and then you get your values. So I need to take this cross product. How do I take cross products? Do a whole bunch of math. If any of you know how to do cross products using matrix, matrices in your calculators, does anybody know how to do that? You can do that if you want. You could do the cross product using these little vector things. If you like these, remember to send me an email so I print you one. They take a little while to print, so I need that email soon. Okay, lots of different ways to take this cross product. First thing you do is you multiply, distribute all the numbers into all the other numbers. This is a vector that's three times a vector of three. So that means we have nine different elements potentially inside of this. Three times three is nine. So I can do this 2.0 in the I hat and multiply it by every single number in this second vector. 2.0 times negative 1.0. And then I do the cross product of the letters. I hat cross I hat. Some of you might skip that step. Why would you skip doing 2 times negative 1? Because I cross I is 0. So that, that'll just end up going away. 
I choose not to do that because that's when you get more mistakes. That's when you make little errors. Okay, and because I'm a dum-dum. 2.0 times 4.0, and then the i hat cross j hat. Does the order of these vectors matter? Yeah. Yes. You have to do them in the correct order. And then plus 2.0 times, looks like well, that's 1.0, and that's j hat cross, no, sorry, i hat cross k hat. I like doing it this way because then I know the very top line, the first vector is always going to be i. i cross i, i cross j, i cross k. I like it when it's 3 by 3 because then I know the second line is going to have j cross i, j cross j, j cross k. That m makes sense to me. Okay, so we took care of that first vector. Plus negative 4.0 times negative 1.0. So I'm multiplying the numbers out again. And I'm doing j hat cross i hat. Plus negative 4.0 times 4.0 times j hat cross j hat. Plus negative 4.0 times 1.0 times j hat cross k hat. It gets, takes care of the second vector. And then last of all, we have plus 6.0 times negative 1.0 times k hat cross i hat plus 6.0 times 4.0 times k hat cross j hat plus 6.0 times 1.0 times k hat cross k hat. Any vector that's a cross product with itself is zero. So cross products that go in the same direction are all zero. So these all cancel out. That little diagonal portion of this cancels out. And then I can multiply my numbers out. Two times four is eight, 8.0 i hat cross j hat. Let me see. i hat cross j hat gives me k hat. So I, I'm using the right hand rule. 2.0 times 1.0 gives me 2.0. i hat cross k hat. i hat goes this way, k hat comes out, my thumb goes down, that would be negative j hat. Plus negative 4 times negative 1 gives me positive 4 j hat cross i hat, so j hat, i hat, negative k. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4.0. j hat cross k hat, so that's uh, j hat cross k hat gives me i hat. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6.0. k hat cross i hat, k hat, i hat, gives me j hat. And 6 times 4 is 24.0. k hat cross j hat, k hat, j hat, gives me backwards, i, negative i hat. A nice little pattern that you can sometimes notice is when you're doing the uh, cross product of two, three uh, dimensional vectors, you will get out unit vectors going in every possible direction. So I have an i hat and I have a negative i hat. I have a j hat and a negative j hat. I have a k hat and a negative k hat. If you don't get that, when you're doing a three times a three, uh, then you did something wrong. Okay. So now I can combine these. Uh, on an exam, do you have to combine it at this point if you're pressed for time? Nope. Uh, if you aren't pressed for time, go ahead and combine those. So I have negative 24 i hat minus 4 i hat. I get negative 28 i hat. 
and then I have a negative 6J hat uh, plus a negative 2J hat. So I get a negative 8.0 J hat. And then an 8K hat minus 4K hat gives me a 4K hat. This is the angular momentum. What are the units of this? Kilograms, meters squared over seconds from the units of R across the units of P. Units R of R are meters, units of P are kilograms times meters per second, kilogram meters squared per second. So there is my final answer. And that's what my solution showed, so yay. Any questions? Preguntas? Quick question, part B, what you're supposed to do in class asks you to find what is the torque. Uh, how do you find torque of something? R cross F. Do you know what R is? Yes. Let's go up. We know R. Do you know F? Yes. Do you have to multiply by the mass or anything like that? Nope. So I just take the cross product of these two. Am I going to have vectors going in every possible direction when I do this cross product? I have three directions in the R vector. How many do I have in the F vector? So you're not going to have i, negative i, j, negative j, k, negative k. That only applies when you have three dimensions for both your vectors. So this one's a little bit easier. Take the cross product of r and f. Any questions? No? On Victor's request, like, subscribe, and <laughs> hit that comment, and hit that little bell to be subscribed to see whenever we have new videos coming out.